Hey y'all, in this video, we're going to take apart the cam stack and get it all nice and washed up. And then we're going to put it all back together again. You're coming right up. Watch it here. Hi y'all. Here we are with cam disc stack. The cam stack also has some dishwashing liquid and water in here. Clear kitchen tap water in here. I've got crud cutter if I need it. And I also have a, um, a sieve, a strainer. And down on the floor I have a hair dryer which I use as a heat gun. So I'm just going to get right started. And there's three screws on top here. One, two, three. So yes, there's the three screws. Good. That's one. Two. Three. So now the top is undone. And what we're looking at is the top disc. There's also the, the mark. What I want to do now is slide this off from underneath this post here. And once I do that, I should be able to raise the discs if I want. These three screws went into the top of that. Pretty sure that's what's at the other end here. So I'm going to see if I can loosen this a little bit. There we go. See that? See, there's a hole there. So I just stuck my little skinny screwdriver and there's that. And we can see grime and oil and there's some varnishing and old oil or whatever. I'm going to go in here and get this post and look at it. And let me see if I can just get a shot towel now that it's been soaking in there for about half an hour not really it's going to take a bunch of work so I'm going to put it in there how are these guys doing some of it's coming off you know what I've got some crud cutter here so I'm just going to take these guys just dry them off with the shop towel wipe them off with the shop towel and get some crud cutter on them. Okay, and that's dirty as well. What I'm going to do is spray these pieces with crud cutter. I'm going to let that sit, and then I'm going to let it sit for maybe 20 minutes. I'll go and wash my hands and get cleaned up. Alright, I'm ready to start now in the next stage, which is to get these out of the crud cutter. They've been soaking in there. Not really, this guy wasn't really submerged or anything, but anyway. They were in there for the last 20 minutes, half an hour. That is pure dishwashing liquid from the grocery store. That is disc so clear, 100% dishwashing liquid, warm water and dishwashing liquid, and then a clear water rinse. And then here I have the strainer that I'll be using. And I have a larger one if I need to. But um, so I have the strainer and then the hair dryer is on the floor. So let's get right to it. Let me get uh, this toothbrush here. And start scrubbing this like so. Obviously a very hands-on job. And there's going to be the inside of this gear as well, the inside structure that has to be cleaned down there. So we're getting a better look at it now. So the problem area on this thing is right there down at the bottom. You know what, let me get the pliers and the steel brush, the wire brush, let's get that out of there. Let's knock some of that water off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I'll turn it a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Turn it a bit more. There's some writing there, probably part number or whatever. One, two, three, four. 
and then we'll turn it a bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some more. And I'm looking for the writing again, because once I get back or surpass the writing, I'll have gone around more than, you know, I'll make sure I got all of it. There's something up there, so I'll try and get that one here. No, okay. Now there's a hole in there, probably some kind, kind of lubrication, because there was some holes up up here somewhere. Oh no, it's on the other part. Okay, so that's looking better. You know, it, it's almost to the point where it could look acceptable. Now I'm going to uh, dry this. It's dry to the touch. And let me get a shop towel because then I can see what's, how dirty it still is because it doesn't look dirty. But I'll bet you we get some smudge and grime off of here. Boy, we didn't get much, did we? <laughs> There's a little bit of grime in there. Let me try on a clean piece of cloth. Not much though. So what I'll do is I'll twist a, a skinny end, spin it in as far as I can. And it's not going to be rough and hard, but at least it's getting in there. So that was the pure, the blue stuff is the pure dishwashing liquid. This is the warm water and dishwashing liquid. And that's the rinse. So that's one. Here comes disc, whatever number it is. There's seven discs all together, right? And so we scrub it up with uh, the pure dish liquid soap. And then give it a scrub rinse with the... Uh, watery dishwasher liquid and then throw it in the rinse. Here let me get this little stud, this little post, uh, the stack post, uh, the cam disc post, yeah, the cam stack post. There's that. Just to get the really obvious wet stuff off. I'll see on the flip side. So, okay, so I've hair dragged them, blow dried them, and I'm just giving them another final wipe to make sure that any further residual moisture is uh, sopped up best I can, and then I'm going to give them a light oiling and let them sit for a few minutes. There's a little bit of grime in there, places like in there I notice, so the oil should take care of that, but I have little brush and stuff, so I'll I'll get after that before this goes together. You know, I'm not shy with a steel brush, with a wire brush. So I'm going to continue along. This is going to be so cool having a really nice shiny cam stack. So now I'm going to wire brush quickly and oil these quickly and get them looking a little little better even. It's not going to be a full-time job giving them wire brush. It's going to be pretty quick actually. Now that's number seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's number seven. Right on. So that's the top one. Yes, it is because it's got the mark right there. Cool. Okay, let's have some fun, make some noise. I've got the fans on, I've got the balcony doors open. And what I'm doing is I've got 320 wet and dry grit, and I cut off a few of them. And they're right here. And I want to make sure I get inside there. And then I want to make sure that I get those little ones. So I'm actually going to cut an even skinnier piece. like so. And then what I want to do is just give it a a little cleaning. You know? If I see anything on the outside I can do that too. But it's mainly to get that big one in the middle and these ones, that secondary one. The smallest ones are hard to see. But there it is. And that, what number is that? That's number one. Actually I need the bigger one for the big place here.
And then after I get the dust these off again, I'll give them a light coating of oil. Okay, that's coming up to the end of the disc. And what I really want to do is I want to get this, fold it, and get the sandpaper in that groove. And that will do a couple of things. It will knock the dust out of there before I put the oil on. Because there's that oil port there. And it will get any grime that was left over. So I'm going to fold it over again. And there it fits kind of right in there. So I'll do a couple of rotations. So that groove is done good. I'm not going to sand this a lot, it's just like, you know, brush it off, rough it up a little. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this piece and fold it over and I'm going to start with the writing right there, Semenko, all that, and I'm going to start right there. And 1, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20. 21, 25, and we're back to where we started, 26, 27, 28, 29. So that's all the teeth there. So and I'm going to also take this piece and go in the slot there like that a couple of times. And I'm going to put some oil in the holes, and then just like that, maybe on the teeth. The teeth will hold enough that I can get in there and rub it all. And then with these guys, it's just going to be a matter of like that. And I'm looking to see what kind of dirt or smudge comes off. But I'll probably have to wipe it down, you know, at least uh, one more time. Or we were washing it with our hands and fingers, now we're oiling it. Some things never change. Hey, anyway, here we go. Going to wipe it off both sides and on the ends, again on the sides and then get in that middle one but good. This is a plastic brush and this is the top where those three little screws go and it was kind of, it's kind of varnished a little bit but I don't want to use crud cutter on it because I think I don't want to discolor or tarnish this piece. Here's the nice shiny cam stack pieces and like I mentioned earlier, in here I've got the three little screws that go on there. There they are up there. Anyway, we'll, I'll get these dusted off, all three of them. So I need um, number one. Here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. There's number four. Number five. And six. And number seven. So that's how that goes and the other thing I have to do is I have to line all of these up on the post and all I'm doing is rotating them until they go into the next disc and you don't have to push very hard there. So that's all the way in now and this has to go now there's two different thicknesses there's a thick side and a thinner side so I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, does it go like that? Or does it go like that? So I'm going to say that, it, I'm going to say the skinny side goes on there. So that I feel that seated and that ring is correctly under that slot, inside that slot. And now we just have the screws. One, two, three. And that's what it is. Certainly. There. So now I should be able to see the screw. I'm hoping that what I've done here will allow you to follow along like if you're doing your own. So there we are. I'm, for, I'm really happy with this. There it is. Onward and forward. I'm going to do um, a little quick video for the next day or so on uh, the needle threaders. Hope you made it through. Enjoy. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. And 
I hope that we meet back here on the next video in uh, less than a couple of days. Adios, amigos.